we got our channel catfish back to the house we're gonna go ahead and show you our version of cleaning them so when we brought them home we put them in the cooler full of water and ice so they're still alive so you want to go ahead and dispatch your catfish however you choose to do that uh, my method because they do have a pretty strong skull so I really don't want to take a knife and jab them in the top of their skull to get take a chance of breaking the tip of your blade so whether you got a little baton two by four hammer the back of a cleaver but you're going to want to crack him in the back of the head nice and firm and go ahead and dispatch him so when you do that and your surfaces are wet just be kind of careful because like his barb is up right now so if you crack him in the back of the head and he slides backward make sure you don't puncture your hand so either hold behind that barb and try to grab your thumb around these front barbs so he doesn't move backwards or place them in a position where when you hit him on top of the head it doesn't end up hurt getting yourself injured as well all right so he's all done he's dispatched there's no eye movement or anything so he's totally done when you start this process make sure you got all your equipment your tools out ahead of time so i got some nice cold water to put our fillets in i got my fillet knife i got a couple of them here I got a sharpening steel if I need it, my cleaver, my skin or hide puller there. So go ahead and we're gonna take you through the process. Basically, we're gonna make a couple of cuts or incisions along the side. You can actually feel there's a, a bone right here. So you wanna come behind this bone, make a little triangle V cut along this top fin here, the spine, find that backbone. We're basically just gonna keep filleting that out following the, the side of the ribs and the belly ribs here until you get that fillet taken off. Come on in, take a closer look. So you got this top fin here. There's a little bit of a bone that comes out. You're gonna wanna find that bone and cut on the outside of it. Again, you could feel this jawbone, if you want to call it that, right here. Back of his skull. You want to go in until you start feeling that backbone. So then you got like a center line. You want to try to file this down. And we'll start splitting that hide. So if you reach your finger inside your cut here, you can feel the top of his spine here. You want to pick one side, whichever side you're filleting. Make sure you're on one side of that spine. Keep your blade tip angled in a little bit. And you could go ahead and feel those bones in there. You could hear them even. Just keep following those down. If you need to turn your fish around to get a better angle, that's what you got to do. So now that you're getting that backbone exposed, you're gonna to wanna to take your blade, pick that one side of that backbone, come through towards the belly, and then tilt your blade down so you can feel that spine in there. Go make sure you go behind the belly, not through it. Right about there. Tilt down, you can feel that spine. And just keep following it. And as you feel it, or don't feel it, just tilt your blade up or down. Now when we get to the end of that tail, I'm gonna leave a little bit of tissue there to leave on there. So 
So we could open this guy up and you're down to the belly here and the ribs. Just keep that blade pointed in. And your knife goes over those ribs, you could hear it. Now you could come off and you could take this filet off right now and not connect your belly meat. You could always come back in and get that belly meat if you like it. I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, so that belly meat still on there. So we still got that tissue attached here. We're gonna come in, don't cut all the way through it. Come in till you get, start getting to that hide in the back side of the skin. We're gonna flay this out almost like if you had a fish with scales on it. Now sometimes you might cut through that skin and you could kind of go back to your old school way, grab your pliers and tear that skin off. So we got the skin detached here. Take a look at that fillet. Pretty close there. So you got a little bit of chunks here, no big deal. Come in with our pliers. Toss that in your scrap bucket. That filet looks pretty good there. Now this redness that's on the filet here, that's mostly just blood. Some of these catfish, especially as they get bigger or into the winter, might have a dark vein or a layer of fat there. So you could take your filet knife and you could cut through this and you could skim off that fat or that dark spot. This catfish here, his, fil his filet is pretty lean, so we're not going to worry about that. We'll hose him off real for a second and we'll come back. So we got our filet cleaned up here. We're gonna go ahead and toss this into our cold water bowl. In our bowl, we also have a little bit of salt in it, and that salt's gonna help firm your meat up, and it's gonna draw a little bit of that blood out of there. Another thing you could do, if you're worried about having too much blood in your filet, but when your fish is still alive and you toss them in your cooler, make sure that water or ice in there is as cold as you can get it, and it'll actually draw that blood to the center of his body, which will give you a little bit whiter of a filet with less blood in it. Let's go ahead and tackle the other side of this filet. So sometimes when you're doing one side and then the other, you'll notice if you're right or left handed, sometimes it's a little easier or more difficult to try to hold on. But there's that bone again. So we'll make that cut. Just try to follow that bone around. Now there's a nice chunk of meat right here. So you want to try to come all the way up to the back of that skull and follow it down. If you come straight across like this, you're going to lose a nice bite of meat right there. Especially on the bigger catfish, the more meat's going to be there. So we already kind of established our backbone here. So that's a little easier now we ain't got to look for it. Keep that blade tip pointed in towards the back, towards that spine. And starting this fillet off right here, you're going to lose a little bit because you're going to have to get in there and be able to start working that filet. You 
go ahead and get your finger in there and pull that fillet back a little bit. It's going to make it a little easier finding that bone following it. There's that backbone. All right, so same as last time, we're gonna put our blade in between that spine and the fillet, come out the backside towards his belly. Right in front of that tail fin there for that bottom fin, but not through his belly. Tilt that blade down. Feel that backbone, that spine. Try to file it down. If you're not feeling that backbone under, tilt your blade down, you'll feel it catch and then tilt up again. Leave a little bit of tissue here. Let that fillet hang open and gravity will work with you a little bit. We're going to come back and we're going to take that belly meat out too. So you got that tissue there, come in at a little bit of an angle. Don't cut through that skin. Also, if you come to the edge of the table, you can get that knife a little flatter. And if you cut through the skin, don't sweat it. Just come back with your pliers, tear it off. Take a look at this skin here. If you guys back up and look at this, we're not wasting any meat on that skin. Got a little piece here and here. You probably cut that off, come in with the tip of your knife. Peel it up. Real nice filet. It is missing the belly meat, but we do kind of like that belly meat sometimes. We're going to go ahead and cut it off. We'll save that in a different package other than the fillets. We'll rinse this guy off. We'll draw some of this blood out with our salt water. So take a look at our fish here. This is its backbone. And then you got ribs or spine coming out either side of it. But if you run our knife along the back of this, you can see we got that all the way down to the bone. So we didn't really waste a whole lot of nothing there. And this belly meat, some people like it, some people don't. I know people that like it, so we're going to take it off and we're going to try not to waste anything. But cut right underneath these rib bones, as close as you can. We don't want to take the ribs with it. Remember, if something's not the right angle, turn that fish around. Don't be fighting it. Flip them over here a little bit. Now a sharp fillet knife, it will cut through bones, so make sure you're not taking those bones with it. Alright, so that's the belly meat right there. The rest of this fish, we're actually going to use it for fertilizer in our garden. <coughs> so 
So this is just some fat that's on the fish. Take that fat off. This inner lining, you could spend a little time here. You could remove that. These two bottom fins here, there's a bone here connecting those two. So we're gonna come in behind that bone, kind of feel it there. Again, angle that blade a little bit. And just like we did that filet, try to take that meat off that skin there. All right, so that's your belly skin. That goes in our garden fertilizer. Now you got your belly meat here. We'll cut these in two. Now you can come through with the back of your knife or maybe your pliers and try to get some of this off. You could scrape it clean. Some people don't even worry about it. Put that in some salt water too and come back to it. It'll clean up a little bit easier. We're gonna hose these guys off, rinse them off a little bit, clean them up. But there's some nice chunks of belly meat there. So hopefully you guys found this video entertaining, a little bit helpful. There is a lot of different ways you guys can clean your fish. This is just my version, it works for me. I think at the, the core of it, the basic principle is kind of the same across the board though. But we got some really good fillets here. We're gonna enjoy these guys. Another little tip for you, as far as any of you, the fishing that you're doing, we did it off camera, but if you open up the belly of whatever fish species that you're fishing for, but you can look in their belly and see what they're eating. So these catfish here, they had a bunch of shad in them, and they also had a lot of crayfish in them. So as far as the bait we were using on our weekend fishing trip here, we were pretty spot on as far as our bait choice goes. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and we'll catch you next time.